What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is CJ, the Cheese DJ here, and we are back with another top 10 video. And today we are taking a look at the top 10 mammals that are in ARC. So you can see already one around us on our shoulders. He's not number 10. We are going in order today. So we're going from 10 to one. And this is, this is my list, my opinion. There's 27 mammals on ARC. So compiling a list of 10 of them was a little bit difficult, but I managed to get there in the end based on their utility, their versatility, their damage, their health, what they can do and all that sort of stuff. So let's get stuck into it. Now at number 10 is none other than our ancestor based on science, the Gigantopithecus. This guy is really powerful. He's actually really strong against other dinos. You can see here we've got a hyenodon. Give it, that's our Giga's dead body, go away. You can see this high ended on here. We're going to smash it with our huge arms. Now, these guys are really powerful. Now, as well as that, they also have the ability to gather berries, which you just saw there. And they also have the ability to gather fiber if you set them on wonder. And now they also are able to gather fiber by, I think they can actually just pick it by themselves with, it's a third attack that they have. You can see here, we're picking fiber, 400 fiber. This guy's an incredible fiber gatherer. Now, as well as that, he's also able to throw the player when they ride him. We're just, we're just getting these hyenodons away. You can see here, the damage we're dealing on, on the hyenodon is pretty powerful. Now, he's also able to throw whatever human is mounted on him, which makes him another really good uh, mammal, I guess you could say, for um, for base raiding, because you can throw him over enemy walls. He's able to pivot on the point rather well, and, you know, he's got a decent amount of health. He's got 2,000 health. This guy's a 150, technically tamed at level 100. So you can pump these guys up in health quite a bit and make them really strong and powerful. Now, as well as that, you can also give them headgear to wear. Now, we don't unfortunately have any head armor. So you can actually put a head armor on them, like flak helmets, kitan helmets, and that actually gives them extra defense and armor against dinos. So it pretty much acts as a saddle for them kind of thing. So this guy is at number 10. At number 9, we have the Dodicarus. This guy is pivotal for surviving an arc just because of his ability to gather huge amounts of stone. And with one of the more recent updates, his ability to reduce the amount of stone weight in his inventory, which makes him really good. Now, we didn't want to attack the Gigantopithecus over here. He wasn't our victim. You can see here, the amount of stone he gathers is just incredible. Now, you're probably wondering, wait, how is this guy a mammal? Well, he's actually some, some form of mouse, kind of armadillo form, which are mammals. Hence why he's on this list. And his ability to roll and turn into Sonic the Hedgehog is pretty unique and Let's be honest here, pretty spectacular, especially when your player's legs stick out the side of him like that. I don't know if you guys can see them. I definitely can, and it's pretty funny. So that's why this guy is number nine on the list. You can pump this guy's movement speed up and he'll soar across the map while rolling. He's also a really good swimmer. He's a little motorboat of a swimmer, really fast. So once again, the Dodicarus is number nine on this list. Number eight is the Ovis, the cute, adorable little sheep that just trots around not, not worrying about any care in the world. Jumping, using its horns to attack. Now the Ovis is on this list at number eight because of its ability to produce mutton. It is the only dinosaur in the game that gives you mutton when harvest. So you only need a male and a female pair for these two. And you can once again breed your own livestock much like Ark. You can harvest their wool and use that in crafting things. And the mutton is extremely useful for taming meat based dinosaurs because it is actually better than raw primate and once upon a time there was actually a time where it was better than kibble so definitely recommend getting a pair of these guys up if not to breed them they're adorable look at them look at these little horns now they can jump as well like i said and they produce mud and that's the main reason these guys are on that list at number eight number seven is what is cutely wrapped around our neck the otter now this guy is on this list at number seven because of his usefulness he's only one of one of the only mammals that you can actually used as a shoulder mount, the other being, I'm pretty sure the Joe Boa is the only other one. Now, this guy provides you with hypothermal insulation, so he keeps you warm and cool if you get too hot or cold. Now, you can also boost this effect if you level up his melee damage exclusively, and it makes him really powerful. As well as that, look at him, he's adorable. Look at his little face. He's also able to gather silica pearls for you, and he's just adorable, look at him. That's why the Otter is number seven on this list. Number six is the Woolly Rhino. This monstrosity of a mammal is incredibly powerful, incredibly fast, and incredibly strong. Nothing stands in the way of the Woolly Rhino. He, once he gets going, he's able to inflict a pretty much a horn charge attack that deals a huge amount of damage to the victim. The only downside of these guys is their low stamina. 
Now, we were debating between putting the Woolly Rhino and the Dyerberry in at this position. So, as well as the Woolly Rhino, the Dyerberry is also in this position with the Woolly Rhino because the Dyerberry is pretty much a smaller, condensed down version of the Woolly Rhino that doesn't do as much of a charge attack as the Woolly Rhino does. Now, this guy is found in the Tundra. He's really useful. He's probably one of my favorite mounts in Ark due to his charging ability and his impale ability. And look at him, he just looks majestic as anything. They, you see him grazing in the fields and they look so pretty. I would definitely recommend taming up a Woolly Rhino if you haven't got yourself one already. And they come in at number six on this list. Number five is the Daydon, otherwise known as the Hellpeg. This guy is really useful because he's one of the only dinos in Ark to actually heal your dinos without having to put food in their inventory. So he's really useful in that regard. Now, as well as that, he's also rather powerful. You should always take out that Hyenidon. Granted, the Hyenidon isn't much of a challenge. The, Hyen the Daydon, sorry, actually took him out with relatively ease. Now, like I said, they are also able to passively heal. So our Woolly Rhino here will gather gain health while the Daydon is healing him. You can see here, we're gonna, we're gonna take a shotgun. Don't judge me for this, guys. But you can see here, the Woolly Rhino's health will slowly increase. You can see that it's going up slowly, I think. I don't think our Daydon's healing, that's why. So come in here, give me a sec. Enable passive healing, you can see here. Now the Daydon will actually heal the Woolly Rhino. And you can see that it's going up by quite a bit of an amount, about 1.2 per second. So he's really useful in using for boss battles and stuff. The only downside is that his food gets consumed at an increased rate, but that's not really much of a downfall. Now he's also able to jump and he's relatively okay in terms of stamina, health and speed. You can see that we're able to cover quite a bit of ground with his jump combined with his speed. So he's definitely worth taming up just for his healing a bit of ability. Plus you can use him as a general traversal mount. Number four on the list is the Bacillosaurus, the Whale of Ark. Now this guy is really powerful, is a really powerful aquatic creature. You wouldn't think it, but the Bacillosaurus is actually a mammal. Now this guy passively generates oil over time. However, the deeper he gets, the more damage he takes. He also gives you hypothermic and hypothermal insulation to in that bottom right corner. So that means it protects you from the heat and cold of the oceans. He's also one of the only dinos that can resist getting grabbed by the Tusotuthus. So you can easily use these guys to go kill Tusotuthuses, the giant squids. They're also really powerful. We're gonna hop off him for a moment here because he looks like he's struggling to get some stamina back in him. But we're gonna come up to this Megalodon over here and we're actually gonna teach his Megalodon a lesson for coming up and trying to mess with us. Now these guys are slightly difficult to tame because they're always protected by a bunch of creatures. But you can see here, we're dealing 171 damage to this Megalodon, which is an incredible amount of damage. Whereas he's only doing 48 and 30 points of damage. So I definitely recommend taming up one of these guys. And these guys come in at number four on the list. At number three, we have the Giant Sloth, otherwise known as the Megatherium. Now, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I never stopped talking about this guy because of how powerful he is. So this guy deals extra damage passively against insect type dinosaurs or creatures, such as scorpions, spiders, whatever else you want to classify as an insect. And you can see, once he kills an insect, he gets a buff. Now, that increases his damage significantly, and he actually applies it to any creature he attacks. So bugs take twice as much damage due to his passive ability, and then this ability that he gets here that is extra, which makes him one of the strongest dinos on Ark, rivaling, I was gonna say the Giga, but it's really not rivaling the Giga. But you can actually take out Rexes and Spinos and Udis with the Megatherium when he has this ability activated. Now, as well as that, he's also really efficient at gathering berries and fiber. You can see that he's gathering a crap ton of fiber. He's pretty much an upgraded version of the Gigantopithecus. And he's pretty much a combined version of the Gigantopithecus and Stego. Now, he's also able to gather a crap ton of fat. You saw us there get 600 from a single tree. And as well as this, he's just adorable. His damage output is incredible. You can see we're doing 268 damage to the trike and he's able to harvest chitin raw meat and hide. Now he's really effective at gathering chitin off insects as well if you didn't already guess due to him having that passive damage bonus. The only downside of this guy is that he runs out of stamina a little bit too fast for my liking. But other than that, I would definitely recommend taming one of these guys up and they come in at number three on the list. At number two, we have the Thylacolio. Now this guy has really grown on me over the past through 
plus season of playthrough that we've been doing on our own server. I'm really big a big fan of the Thylacolios. They're very fast, they're very good jumpers. They're able to climb, if you didn't notice that already. I think we can climb up these kind of trees. No, we can't climb up those trees. But they can climb up 90 degree vertical walls, 90 degree vertical trees, and they're really, really powerful. More powerful than I expected. And these guys are marsupials, so they come under the mammals category. Now, they're also actually metatherians as well, for you those, uh, those animal lovers out there that understand what I'm talking about. But these guys are just all around really good dinos. Like this Rex up here, where is he gone? We're gonna go tank out this Rex just to show you how powerful this guy is, because he's no chance of defeating us. Phylocolios are incredibly powerful. Our, our server one has 10k health at the moment, and it's just it just wrecks face off everything. We're currently breeding them, as you would have guessed, and like we're, we're gonna build the Phylocolio army and go to war with them, because they're just such good mounts, and you can easily stick them on trees and walls. Now we're gonna come up to this cliff face here, and we should be able to do it. And if you actually spin them around, you're able to do a pounce attack on any potential victims that get in your either your vicinity. Now you can see here, we're stuck on the wall. Now if we spin around, I don't know if he does it on walls actually. Yes, he does. There we go. You get the pounce ability. And this is incredible. So you can actually pull players off flyers from this ability. We were trying to get that Tyranodon. We just missed it, unfortunately. And they take a huge amount of reduced damage from falls, which makes them incredible for traversing large maps and reducing the amount of damage you take from falls. That's why these guys are number two on the list. Now, number one on the list is yourself, the player, the human. Humans are mammals as well, and you are definitely the ultimate mammal in Ark. You have the ability to kill any of the dinos in Ark, whether it be by rocket launcher, whether it be by taming up another dino and using that dino to kill them, raising wyverns. The player himself or herself is definitely the most powerful or best mammal in Ark just conclusive there's there's no debate about it because you the mammals the humans are able to counteract any of the dino anything the dinos are able to throw at you so you know you get thylacolios against you pull out a gun you get wyverns against you pull out a rocket launcher these things that you can all craft by yourself as well so this is why the human is number one on this list Alrighty guys, that'll be it for today. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. Let me know whether you agree with this list or not. Let me know what your list would be. I tried to even it out as best as I could with all the different mammals and their abilities. Hopefully I did it justice. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. Let me know down in the comments. I would appreciate it hugely. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe think about subscribing. I'd appreciate it. If not, cool, pass on to the next video. But thanks very much for watching guys. And hopefully I catch you in the next one.